what's up? Sammy here. Today we are going to take a quick look at the Kukray G2 Max. For those who are unfamiliar with this brand, it's a previous Kugo crane that are known for making budget-friendly scooters for everyone. I've been testing the products since 2018 and I love them. This cool green G2 Max goes up to 55 km power and has a range of 80 km on a single charge. It also sports a 1000 watts motor, which enables you to climb almost any steep slopes that would be impossible for this. And the best part is it's under $900. How awesome is that? And you can check out the link in the description if you're interested. This is definitely one of those dreamy scooters with all the features you want that won't break the bank. There's more. Let's take a closer look. Starting from the bottom, the Kukurin G2 Max sports not only one, but two spring shock absorbers, which means they can easily absorb bumps in the road and give you a stable and smooth riding experience. There are two 10-inch normally pneumatic tires that provide more traction on unpaved surfaces such as loose dirt or sand. What's better, both tires are equipped with the disc and electronic brakes which will make your ride even more secure. The seat is detachable. I always choose to install it for one reason. That is, I can install my Insta360 One X2 camera here. So I can shoot cool videos like this. But of course, you can always choose to install it or not, depending on how you like to commute. And even when you install the seat, you can still fold it down. Yeah, so the seat is a bonus. And speaking of foldability, let's talk about the stem, you know. The stem is retractable and foldable. Another design I have to mention is the light system. It offers one headlamp, two front and rear star lights, and one tail light. With this six light system, it's hard not to notice when you ride at night. And now we're moving to the handlebars. First, we insert this physical key to unlock it. And then we press and hold the power key for two seconds to turn on the scooter. Here, I walk you through the handlebars very quickly. Here, the throttle control, power key, physical key. This is the horn actually very loud this is the turning signal switch and this is the light on off switch and what's more we have a giant lcd display here here it displays various information yeah this uh it's uh adjustable as well that's great uh, we have the battery indicator the trip or odometer and also the current speed and this is the speed mode and you press this power key to switch between one mode one mode two and mode three for each speed i will just list on the screen and that's basically the handlebars that's the design i've got to say i just love this sporty rugged and premium look it definitely feels cheap or have wobbling parts here and there like this budgie scooters no let's take the thing for a ride let's go Regarding the ride quality, this thing is just a beast. It's a blast to ride. With that 1000 watts powerful motor and awesome suspension, it offers a super smooth and stable ride on almost any terrain, from rugged, muddy mountain roads to well-maintained city roads. You name it. I can hit beams and curves like that even there. Of course, I'm not suggesting you do so deliberately, but when you run into such dicey situations, this thing could easily scoot out of them. With the amazing torque this powerful motor generates, I can climb the steep slope I can find, which would be unimaginable for most other scooters. I can achieve around 50 km power with my almost 100 kg weight on flight ground, which is enough for me. I'm happy with that because I'm not a speedster. Safety is always my first priority. Speaking of safety, the Kukurin G2 Max has a few features that make it a lot safer. It is definitely not something that just stuff a high power motor into a flimsy scooter frame. It has a dual heat dissipation structure for its motor, which makes the ride more durable. Super robust dual brake system, you can always stop it immediately whenever you want. The deck is anti-skid and arch high above the ground. 
and most importantly the super robust aluminum alloy body frame. With all of those in mind, all you need to do is just enjoy the ride and let the scooter take care of others. You might wonder, oh, the Kukrin G2 Max is overbuilt with all that powerful motor and design for average city traders. But for me, I love the Kukrin G2 Max so much is because it opens up a lot of possibilities. If I want to unleash my inner speed demo and have extreme fun like drifting or something, I can. And if I just want to use as a daily chemist tool, it can do just that. Whether you want a scooter for recreation, off-road riding, or to use as a legit on-road commuter, the Kukuni Jitu Max is designed to handle it. But of course, if you want less powerful or even simpler use scooters, you can check out K-Bank's website. All links are in the description. <laughs> Alright, that's the video. I hope you enjoy watching it as much as enjoy riding it. And if you are interested in this Kukuni Jitu Max, please find the link in the description. Thanks for watching, I'm Samuel, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.